beginning of my hour of power. I start off by writing out a date on a fresh page of my journal. I will also write down any dreams or communication that I receive from my spirit guide. The most common way they communicate with me is through placing different animals in my dreams or through communicating to me through numerical sequences. My guides know that I will look up the meaning of the animals in my dreams in my Animal Spirit Guides book, which is written by Stephen Farmer. I like the hard copy of the book as there are more animals in it than the Kindle version, which I also own. To give you a clear example of communication and what it looks like, soon after I received the book from my friends Miles and Reba, I had a dream in which there was a giant crow standing over me and I was lying on the deck of the vision house. It was so intense that I immediately woke up and looked up the meaning. The meaning which resonated with me was, expect a big change coming very soon. Shortly thereafter, we moved across the country and bought a new business. Another way that my spirit guides communicate to me through dreams is with number sequences. In one particular dream, I saw the number sequence of 99999, and it was large and glowing. I looked at the meaning on Joanne Wamsley's Angel Numbers site, and the meaning was a message to light workers to keep the light shining brightly. This is why I'm sharing this information with you all. Once the entries are made into my journal on any information that I receive from Spirit, the next thing that I do every day is to read from the book called I Ching Wisdom by Wu Wei. The book is absolutely amazing and is packed with sage wisdom from centuries ago. Each day I read one page from the book, which has an ancient and wise message, and below it is the interpretation by Wu Wei on the meaning of the message. After reading the page, I would then meditate or reflect on how I can use this information in my daily life. The book talks about two very distinct and divergent paths that each one of us has available to us at all times. One is the path of the superior person, and the other is that of the inferior person. The path of the superior person is paved with happiness and success, while the path of the inferior person is paved with pain, sadness, and struggle. Both of the paths are created by our thoughts and actions, and the path we are on is always our choice alone, and we can always change our path at any time through changing our thinking. After absorbing the daily message from the I Ching, I will then read aloud a series of affirmations that I have written down on index cards in the form of I Am statements. The statements are always written in the positive and in the now as being done and already here. Examples of some of my daily affirmations are, I am the deliberate creator of my experience. I am happy. I am a manifester of wonderful things and experiences. After reading my affirmations aloud to myself, the next exercise that I do is scripting, and I will write a page or two in a notebook whereby I am writing a note to God giving thanks for all the amazing blessings in my life. I will also give thanks for all the things which I am working on manifesting as already being done and how awesome it feels to have these blessings in my experience. In short, it is almost like putting a creative visualization exercise down on paper and generating the emotion of gratitude while you describe your ideal scene or dream life as already being done and in the now. In closing, I will thank God for all of these blessings and for all that are on their way. If you have done this correctly, you are going to feel a massive amount of gratitude when you have finished scripting.